Hello, Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I I am not. <laughs> I do apologize for the uh, late video. Um, my my youngest little um, American Eskimo dog passed away yesterday, and. Uh, yeah, I've just been dealing with that. Um, I am trying to deal with it by doing other things. You know, not focusing on it. Um, my other dog now, uh, I you know, basically needs me more than ever. Um, but, you know... I've, I've mentioned to you before how Dee Dee's really got dementia and um, she takes a lot of care um, I have to I have to make her sit still and focus um, on eating on her eating sessions um, I have to because like if you you know she's at the point now if you set her food down she might take a bite and walk away you know and that's it um, they just don't, they don't realize, and, um, they don't, um, yeah, they don't stay focused on food, so they, they kind of take off, um, so, you know, you kind of have to sit there, and you have to make her eat, and she has to eat several small meals a day, so, um, she's not, you know, she's not a big eating dog anyway, so, um, you know, to get her to eat, you know, several small meals is quite a chore, quite an undertaking, um, but, um, you know, other than that, you know, she's doing, she's doing well, um, I, you know, I don't know what Midge just, um, didn't want to eat yesterday, and, um, you know, Dee Dee had kept me up the night before, uh, because, uh, she gets, she, she walks into a corner and then she thinks she's stuck. So then she starts crying. So I get up and I, you know, <laughs> reorient her and, uh, she had gotten me up three times in the middle of the night and, um, so I didn't get much sleep and I was tired and exhausted and, uh, I got up and fed him <clears throat> and, uh, like I said, Midge didn't want to eat and I said, well, you know, I didn't. I didn't take that as anything serious, you know, um, sometimes they don't, and then you just have to go back, which is what I had been doing, um, then, um, Dee Dee had made a, uh, I was watering orchids, and, uh, Dee Dee made a crash, um, she had a, um, a, uh, there's a little stand beside my, my stove that uh, has towels on it, dish towels on it, and she managed to knock that over, and of course knock it on herself. And uh, cause, you know, as soon as I heard the crash, I went 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 out there, you know, went running, and um, as best as I can run, and uh, got it off of her, and um, got got you know got the towels and stuff picked back up. And I uh, went to get their food, and, and Midge had already passed, and I just, I was, <laughs> I don't get it. She wasn't, um, yeah, I don't get it. She wasn't, nothing was going on, I don't know. Anyways, um, so, uh, let's focus on, um, let's focus on orchids today. I uh, might not be my usual chipper self, but I do apologize for that. Um, but there is something that we do need to talk about. And um, it's the bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. I know um, <laughs> it has been a weird, hard summer for bugs. Uh, bugs have been an extreme. Um, bugs have... <sighs> just been crazy 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 um they've not i mean we didn't have that much of a winter so i assume that because um 
because we didn't have, you know, it makes the bugs, you know, a bit more extreme. So, um, yeah, <laughs> they, uh, they just kind of, um, have been everywhere. They've kind of been an absolute menace this year. Everybody has um, complained of thrips, and thrips. Let me tell you, this uh, this past year has been the first time I've had to deal with thrips, and let me tell you, they are horrible. They are horrible. They are horrible. They are horrible. Um, first time in in a decade of growing orchids have I ever. Um, dealt with something like thrips never in my life um they are um hang on guys i think i gotta go check my dog <laughs> all right i am back i apologize for that um anyways um bugs 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 uh the hoy is just down here because it fell over when i came in the the gray space this morning so, I assume it's probably time to up pot because its roots are doing really good. Probably outgrown the pot and uh, caused it to topple over. So, it's been doing really good. That is the one that uh, Yoshi sent me, the Imperial Imperialis. Um, and, of course, I did put the, uh, about the blue twinkle down. She's starting to open. Let's see. She's not talking about bugs, but we can talk about bug damage to flowers and what they do. They definitely, um, thrips love flowers. They love flowers, they love blooms, and they love new growth. And yes, that's what I was saying. Uh, in a decade, I have not had to deal, of course, the yellow why not um in a decade of, of growing orchids i have this is the first i've dealt with thrips and um they're horrible i'll take you along and show you some of the bug damage um i told you we I, you know i've definitely gotten some bug damage um but the thing of it is is that um i of course was using the uh, bio advanced three in one and it was working good um it was working good it was not um you know uh it was working good it is um let me see the uh, m m i don't know i can't say it but <laughs> that is the that was the main ingredient so, um, it was working good. It was working better than the, um, I've got all this stuff on hand now with the Bug Be Gone. Because I had started using the Bug Be Gone systemic and, um, it was working fantastic. Uh, of course at that time the only thing I really had was spider mites. So, it was working fantastic for spider mites. Well then, um, it kind of wasn't working on the spider mites anymore. And, um, I had gotten, uh, in a few plants that had scale on them. So I'm like, well, I got to treat that. So it wasn't really working that great for scale. I had found that the, um, the Suffol X was working better for scale. So it was doing good, but not, not great. It, it worked, but it wasn't the best, you know? So, uh, me and Brenda from Orchid Delirium was talking one day. And I'm in no way affiliated with this, um, this stuff. I just want to pass along. This is what I've been doing and this is working for me. So I want to share because like you guys, this is like easy peasy and a piece of cake. And the bug situation is completely under control in my grow space. I, there is not one place that you will find a little pocket of spider mites nothing so I mean like I, I am just utterly amazed at how this has has worked um but yeah me and Brenda at Orchid Delirium was talking about it and she had used it and she's like you know give it a try blah 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 and I was like okay 
I can do that. Well, I ordered it and I tried it on a few of the plants that I knew had bugs. And like just in a in in, in a couple of days you could tell um the spider mites were gone. Like the spider mites that had been on that plant were gone. Um you could tell the um which I'll show you when I'll show you some of the damage. Um the the leaf like was almost like healing itself like it came up with like a shiny uh area over it where you know the bugs had quit eating and I was like well isn't that just cool so you could tell real fast that it worked well um this is um bonad systemic house plant insect control and funny if you look the active ingredient is the same but it is um a different percentage wasn't it a different percentage um and actually this one seems to be a little bit higher but it is a different percentage which that just seems weird but i don't even know um this is working that's all i can tell you is this is working um it doesn't make sense to me but it's working so i finally after i had noticed you know the change in those plants and i had noticed no change in the plants um and you see it is a um it is a flake looking stuff um, but I had noticed that it hadn't harmed the plants, it had killed the bugs, and it was working. So what I did was, is I went along and, uh, on a watering day, and I sprinkled it in with water, or sprinkled it in, and then I watered the plant and set the plants back, and places that I have, you know, like I've come across another plant and I'll be like, oh, there was spider mites there. And then it's a was because you look now and they're dead because I treated all my plants. Now, I also treated my dendrobiums with this because as if anybody knows, dendrobiums can be fussy about any kind of spray care for bugs. Uh, dendrobiums do not like a lot of sprays. A lot of sprays react with, um, dendrobiums and they'll cause leaf fall uh it, it, they yeah dendrobiums are just the hardest plant to treat if they get bugs um there's not much else you can do about it because um you know you got to treat them if, if the bugs are going to take the leaves off so i guess you just as well let the let the medicine take the leaves off i don't know it's it's kind of a catch-22 with dendrobiums um they don't, dendrobiums hate oil, they hate, uh, alcohol, they hate, uh, they don't, they don't, don't, they don't mind soap, like, uh, dish soap, they don't, that doesn't seem to phase them, and they really, low concentrations of the soft oil X does not affect them. Now, if you get a little bit higher, they, you get that oil, they hate it, they will react badly to that oil. So, but so far, this has treated my um my dendrobiums even and without fail like i still got leaves on them they you know the damage quit because the bugs are now dead so it has just worked amazingly now um me and michael mccarthy was talking about um because i told him i'm like i'm telling you i don't know too you need to try it so um he uh, i told him i said he's like well how, how can you put it on mounts and i said well I did, for some of them, I just wetted them down and sprinkled that on them and let it dry, and it stuck. You know, it just kind of, it kind of sticks there, even when you re-wet it by spraying them out again. Now, another way was uh, Miss Betty Ward had told me, use pantyhose. Use, and I, I don't have any right now. I wish I did have, because I thought I could show you. But I know you understand what I mean. Like, get a pantyhose and um, sprinkle some of that down in the middle and then bring it up, tie it off, and you've got like a little a little bag of this that will leak out of the neon, out, out of the pantyhose. Um, 
and so every time you'd spray it the same thing would happen and you could hang it off the side of your mount or I have um, I have these uh, which I know everybody has seen these uh, a lot of people use these for the self-release fertilizer and it's the same idea uh, like I said just like with the pantyhose you could just do the pantyhose the same way and then just tie it off and then you've got your little bag of stuff but these of course have the drawstring that you know which is the same thing you just put your stuff down in there um, these are um, and like, I'm not affiliated with these bags either I think I got them at the um, everything a dollar store um, which is now uh, everything a dollar 25 store because <laughs> you know inflation um, <laughs> everything a dollar and it's a dollar 25 anyways let's um, let's go look at some of these how I um, I made the bags and then I went and put them on the plant so let's go check that out alrighty so after we had gotten the, um, the little bags made up for the mounts um, basically all I'm gonna do is is try my best <laughs> and that wasn't my best that was that didn't work very good I need my little uh, that wasn't very good either um, I need my little um, and that one's right there I need to get my little uh, it's hard to reach over the table to get a place where I want them I need to get my um, my grabbers and place them <laughs> so hang on we're back now I got my little grabbers <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody if everybody has a set of these but I sure do so what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to get it down in Oops, I'm not showing you guys very well because I'm <laughs> trying to do it two-handedly but I'm trying to get it down in there and this one I would like to be right here kind of on top of that one on top of my uh, my hook of blossom. Now I made up one more because I want it on my dendrobium over here because the dendrobium has had, and I'm not showing you again. I'm sorry guys, it's kind of difficult to do two-handed things. Um, I want it on my dendrobium over here because um, that dendrobium has, uh, it had spider mites. And uh, I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, yeah see the spider mite damage um, I sprayed it uh, but yeah whether or not whether or not it uh, continued to work or not was an issue but since I got that up there now that should definitely work and it should every time I spray the mount then that will drain down and go through the roots and be a systemic and get rid of my spider mites so hang tight we'll be right back of course as you're spraying as you spray your mounts and such then what you do is you just get it wet you get it good and wet and like I said it will start um, seeping down through the plant then and then that will um, that will make your plant um, from here on out that will make your plant uh, systemically treated against pests so that that works quite nicely um, like I said we got you could use those or you could use the pantyhose um, which like I said Betty uh, Ward gave me that idea of pantyhose but I already had the, uh, the little blue things on hand from um, when I you know was thinking about doing the uh, self-release fertilizer thing so I already had them here so but yep that should that should work 
This channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. And they even sell orchids. Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewers discount. So go check them out y'all. Okay, over here we are. I'll show you some damage. This has a little bit of spider mite damage, but this is also some cell collapse. And you can see like the huge amount of cell collapse. Um, that, that is thrips damage. That is old thrips damage where that leaf was growing out of the crown and um, it was growing out of the crown and the bugs ate it. The bugs love the crown of Phalaenopsis. Yep, they really do. Um, this this is old um, spider mite damage. You can see see how it got like a white that should, that usually indicates that they're not there now that they're they're not chewing on it. And usually the little indent will look red if they're the red spider mites. Um let's see. That that is thrips damage. That that is spider mite damage. Um, this was a bad um, a bad little spot of them. Um, they actually had gotten on top. They didn't usually. Normally, it's the underneath of the leaf. Uh, that they will get, um, but that is definitely um, spider mite damage. Alrighty, I showed you how I put them on the mounts, and um, I have even spray sprinkled them in um, in my African violets, in my hoyas, uh, just to make sure, because it really it, it's a systemic for um, house plants, so. Um, you know, if I have them here, you know, uh, African violets will get, um, thrips on them too. And, uh, and I don't think, that, I don't know about spider mites because they're awful fuzzy leafed. If so, it would maybe be underneath, but yeah, they definitely, um, definitely take off over the, um, the, uh, African violets too. Like they... Uh, thrips love them. Um, so I sprinkled, I did treat all of my African violets. Um, I was going to show you real quickly. Um, let me see, it would be a good amount to treat and show you. Um, and it's really funny too. It seems like if they, um, and I haven't noticed it affecting flowers, so we'll do this little. Um, Uh, green fly. We'll zoom in a little bit. My pretty little green fly. She's so cute. Let me get a focus on her. There she is. But <clears throat> basically, what I did was, is I just took, um, I took um, uh, any mix of fertilizer, or whatever I had. Um, wetted the mount just like this and then I opened the bottle sprinkled it on the moss and the roots there so you see that's about all I put on there and you see how it's kind of, it is pretty well sticking, but then I'd go back, I'd do the fine mist and go back and wet it so that it really stuck just like that. And you can't even actually see it. And then it dries right there and it will systemically, there's a gnat walking around there somewhere, I keep seeing it. 
he ain't gonna like it on there too because it'll kill um there's several things that kills um uh aphids scale white flies and other listed insects which um it has a i think a red that it kills um like um fungus gnat larvae which is a worm that is in the bark you know so i want this stuff open i've had the other ones open but i've never opened this one oh, this one's new brand new so and like i said i don't i'm not sure if i said or not now i'm peeling the whole thing off um oh this is relatively cheap on amazon 9.99 um and um, i'm not affiliated with them but like i said this has worked for me you guys i'm sorry i'm taking so much time so i'm just i'm not exactly with it <sighs> and then i wasn't planning on this doing this so i do want to show you the other things that it lists what it kills somehow here this will allow me It does give you directions. It gives you, you know, application directions. Um, there's a list of what it can, kills. Um, aphids, armor scale, suppression, uh, fungus, gnat, larva. Yeah, Japanese beetle adults. See, I mean, it is, like, you can use it for anything outside even. Um, but yeah, you can look. There's a whole list of everything. Um, it gives you application instructions. It tells you... And, and I basically just went by uh, their suggested um, things. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, this might be worth a try for some of you guys. Um, like I said, it's it's been um, super easy for me to use. Um, like I said, I just went along as I was watering and sprinkled the top of each plant and everything. Like I said, I have not noticed any new pockets or anything of uh damage so it really really works so um you know it might might just be something that you know can help you out so there you guys go if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and with that said bye for now y'all till we meet again